G'day all. Here we have an NJ Moore flame licker or flame gulper, depending on what you call them. A lot of people call them flame gulpers and a lot of people call them flame lickers. Uh, they're both interchangeable and a lot of people call them vacuum engines. Uh, this one, I'll show you a photo now. Now that came uh, four years ago from China, and as you could see from that photo that I just showed you, it was a pretty plain Jane engine. So the last couple of days I stripped it down, took it apart, um, painted the, it, it was an aluminium base, so I etch coated the aluminium base, and then sprayed it with some red high temp paint, made the wooden plinth for it, also made, cut this steel base put some brass screws on to hold that down i've got some brass risers that i made on the lathe under the aluminium base and the steel base for the burner and uh, turned up some brass bolts out of some brass hex bar that i had now i made this spirit burner and as you can hear that when it lands it's got a um rare earth magnet on it so as i said before these can be pretty temperamental to get running and you need to have that flame position in just where you want it and these things they bounce around and these the burners have always danced away so i'm going to try and see what this is like i think it's going to work well having this steel base on here now, when I got this, uh, it, it, look, it didn't run, to be honest. It didn't run. It needed a lot of work. I've spent hours on this, honing uh, brass burrs and things off. And I've got it running pretty well. It's a, it's a steel piston in a brass cylinder. There's a ball bearing that, that you can see that cam works on that ball bearing the dogs can hear me they think there's someone at the door and that spring operates you can see so the flame gets sucked in there comes and closes cools down makes the piston go back sucks in some more flame cools down but uh look enough talk let's put some spirits in the burner spirits in australia we we just call it methylator spirits and aussies short shorten everything down so it's just collectively all known as metho but it's what it is it's denatured alcohol which is available all over the world just get that i think that's coming through yeah that's wet so that magnet sounds so good when that goes on there. Jeez, I hope this is going to work properly. So we'll light that up. Position it about there, I reckon. And we'll give it a turn. First go. Turn that light off. So you've got to have that flame exactly the right. There we go.
pretty happy with the way that's running. It's it's never run that well. So that honing, that honing has done a a lot. It's amazing what a few burrs can do. Removing a few burrs and how much just one or two burrs can affect the, the performance on these small engines. So we'll just take it back. We'll just put that flame about there. And we'll flick that flywheel. That's running really well. It quite an amazing engine these to just be running off a off an open naked flame. We'll just kick that over once more. Just turn all the lights off, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, lights are off. Hopefully I can show you that flame getting sucked into that piston. There, about there. About. Okay, a bit hard to see in the dark. back again I'll just zoom out you could I hope that uh, showed that flame being sucked in there and uh, that's how these work just show you in here again so again it's a it's a, a steel piston it's a very the tolerance of, of that is really superb but that, that is one thing that it's come out of the factory the suction on that is is just absolutely superb. The machining of the the steel piston and the the brass cylinder. Um, I think you can hear it in my voice how well pleased I am. This is turned into a turned into a quite a nice uh, piece for my collection from what was again a rather plain Jane. This, this has worked really well. This has got uh, one rare earth magnet. I think I might even go to the trouble of putting another one in, even though that's super strong. This is vibrating back and forth enough to even move that, just that, and that's enough to knock that flame away a bit. Also, just my hands moving, you can see that there, and my breath talking like that is enough to just um, change the way that flame is being sucked in but uh, I'm going to do that once more because it's just fun starting that up because it's never worked this well before so I think that's in about the right spot so let's go
blow that flame out. Yep, it definitely needs definitely needs another magnet because it is still even though that's that strong, it's still moving a little bit. But I am very very well pleased with the way that's turned out. Look, as always, thanks for watching. Always appreciate the views and comments. And uh, stay safe, stay well, and see you next time. Bye for now.